In this part, we will learn how to measure of dispersion for ungrouped data. So, for this one, we will know how to calculate the variance, standard deviation and then the range. Example 8, we have two data which both data have mean 7. As you can see here, in data 1, most of the numbers are around the mean value 7. The maximum value for data number 1 is 9 only but the maximum value for data number 2 is 13. So the data number 2 is more spread away from the mean. So the difference in the spread can be determined by the measure of dispersion. There are three common measure of dispersion which is the first one is range, variance and then standard deviation. So to find the range, range is the largest value minus with the smallest value. When we use range to measure of dispersion, it is not very good because range is influenced by the extreme value. But for variance and the standard deviation, this is the most useful and widely used to measure of dispersion. Standard deviation measure how spread out the value in the data set if the data points are all close to the mean so the standard deviation is close to zero if many data points are far from the mean so the standard deviation is also far from zero or if all the data values are equals then the standard deviation is zero so here is the formula for variance. To find the variance is S square equals to summation of xi minus x bar. X bar is mean square over n minus 1. We commonly in use formula S square equals to this one. Or if our data in the frequency distribution table we use this formula for variance then to find the standard deviation we can just set the value for variance example 9 calculate the variance and standard deviations hence determine which data is more dispersed about mean this is data number 1. To find the variance, we must find the summation of x. So we have total up all the value for x. 16 plus 10 plus 9 plus 9 until plus 7. So the summation of x will get equals to 51. And then we need to find the summation of x square so summation of x square you have to square all the value of x and then total up all the x so 16 square plus 10 square until the last term is 7 square so the total for summation x square is 519 okay so now we want to find the standard the, uh, the variance so variance just substitute all the values inside this formula so the first one is summation of x square so 519 minus here is summation of x then square so sum, our summation of x is 51 so square divided by n so n is number of observations so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so our number of n is 7 divided by n minus 1 is equal to 6 then calculate so x square will get 24.571849 So this is 
for variance then if we want to find the standard deviation so standard deviation is s so s we can just set the value of x the value of s square so 24.571849 so equals to 4.957 this is data number two so first we need to find the summation of x so 10 plus 32 plus 8 plus 12 14 until the last term is 1 so total summation of x is 217 and then we try to find the summation of x square 10 square plus 32 square plus 8 square until the last term is 1 square so try to total up all the value of x square so here we'll get 5929 as we want to find the standard deviation so x square just substitute inside this formula so summation of x square is 5 9 2 9 minus 2 1 7 square divided by so our number of observation is 12 so divided by 11 then calculate so untuk so variance we will get is 182.265 then we want to find the standard deviation so standard deviation is set of variance so set 182.265 the value for standard deviation is 13.5 so now we can compare which data is more dispersed as we can see that which data the value for standard deviation is more higher so here the data number two is more dispersed therefore data two is more dispersed then data number one why because the value of standard deviation for data number two is more than data number one